Hello, this is Matt with BBX4U.com, and in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to add a second WordPress application to one of your domains in your hosting account using GoDaddy. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to click up here, and you're going to want to go to your manager hosting, because you're going to want to manage your hosting account. And when you get there, you want to make sure that you click on the manage button next to your cPanel for the hosting account that you want to use. And then after doing so, you'll see that you come to the cPanel, and when you get there, you're going to need, need to add the domain name um, that you're going to want to use or add to this hosting account, basically. So you click there, and then all you do is you would simply type in the name of the URL that you want to use, and it'll create the FTP username, it will create the document root, and you want to go ahead and put a password in. After you select the passwords that you want, you just go ahead and click the Add Domain button. And that took about 60 seconds, and now that the domain has been added, you'll see that the domain name has been added, and the FTP account has been added. So after doing that, you're going to want to go back to your cPanel, and from there, you're going to want to go to your web applications for WordPress. And then you're going to install this application. And now that you went ahead and successfully added your other URL, um, in this section here, you can click here and then be able to go ahead and click on the URL you wanted to use right there. And we're going to want to install it in the root directory. So that as you can see, we've got the URL that we added to our account is right here. So you're to make sure that you go to the root directory, and then you're going to install version 3.81, and that you're going to accept the license agreement, create a backup, uh, do not automatically update WordPress plugins, do not automatically update WordPress themes. And then in this section, what you're going to want to do is add an admin username, an admin password, and an admin email. And of course, you'd want to use um, you know, passwords and usernames that you're going to remember, as well as use an email that you have very good access to. Another thing you do is add a website title here. So we're going to go ahead and add this here for this specific site. And we're going to add it also in the tagline because on the website itself, we could do more SEO optimization to the site itself. And then from there, what we're going to want to do is basically scroll down to the bottom. And when we get to the bottom, we're going to select no for the multi-site. Um, I want to select no also for limit login attempts. And then um, we'll keep this at automatic. And we're going to go ahead and click on install to install our second WordPress application on our hosting account. And as you can see, there's now two applications up here on the top. And if we scroll down the page, you can see that the application is loading to the website that we chose for it to be loaded to. And when we go ahead and click here, and as you can see, the installation worked perfectly. And uh, that is how you add a second application to your WordPress hosting account. That's how you do it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one. If you found this information useful, please share, comment, or like on the video.